Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm with TRCast and I'm at Art Beats today and I have a tutorial for you to show you how to make a Mala style bracelet on stretch cord. What we have are some 8mm gemstone beads, some 1mm stretch magic, some TerraCast 5mm nugget beads, a lotus bead, some jump rings, a open lotus charm, and a hammered guru bead. I've also got a little 4mm gemstone bead that I've strung onto a head pin and made a simple loop, so that's going to be an embellishment as our last step. The first thing I want to do is cut a piece of cord about 12 inches long, and I want to stretch that out a little bit. That way it just minimizes some of the stretching that it will do later. Once I've got that prepared, I will just start stringing some beads. I'm going to alternate the gemstone beads and the nugget beads and I've separated out 17 of them. That should give me a pretty good sized bracelet. This one is 15 beads and it's slightly small. So I'm going with 17 on this one so it'll be a little bit bigger. So now I have my gemstone beads and my nugget spacer strung and I'm ready to add my lotus bead and my guru bead. And that now to secure this I want to use what they call a surgeon's knot which is basically a, a square knot but with an extra added loop through with one of the cord ends. And I'm tying this knot right next to the guru bead because the guru bead has a large hole and then I can hide the knot inside. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of gem tack glue to that knot before I tuck it into the bead. And that will dry clear so you don't have to worry about it showing. And I'm going to let that dry before I trim off that extra stretch magic. So now I want to embellish, I want to add my tassel and I want to add my little lotus charm. So I've got this little dangle prepared. I'm just going to attach that to the bottom of the lotus. And then I'll use a jump ring at the top of the lotus to attach that to the guru bead. And I'll use a second jump ring to attach the tassel to the guru bead. And there you go. Once this glue has had a little time to dry, then I'll trim off the ends of those cords and the Mala bracelet will be finished. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy making these Mala bracelets.